Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is one of those one-off videos that I do every once in a while that's not about pressure cooking or broccoli sprouts. It's time to cover up your swamp cooler if you have one of those. A lot of people may not even know what that is, but in the Western United States, many people have a swamp cooler instead of an air conditioner. And there are certain things that you have to do at the end of the summer season to close the thing up, shut it down, and get it ready for winter. Some of you may have a swamp cooler that has a block-off plate, which is a really great thing to have. It's basically a sheet of metal that you insert into the ductwork up on the roof that physically blocks off any ambient cold air from just kind of floating down into your house through the vents. Unfortunately, whoever installed the swamp cooler in this house did not outfit it with that slot, so I don't have a block off plate. So instead of doing that, I cover up the vents that lead into my house from the swamp cooler with one of those window shrink wrap kits. It's a little bit fussy. You have to get up on the ladder, use double stick tape, stick the plastic to the sides of the vent, and then use a hair dryer to make it all kind of adhere and shrink up. I have three vents and I've covered all three of them up. So now it's time to get up on the roof. I already turned the water off inside the house. There's a line that comes up and feeds the water up here. Make sure that that's off. Okay, so I'm up on the roof and right behind me here is the swamp cooler. The first thing that I do is cover up the air intake panel, which is this front part here, that's where the swamp cooler sucks air in with a sheet of this PolyPro insulation and I cut it down to size and it's just another way of blocking cold air from creeping in. Back here is the ductwork that leads into the house. Usually there is a slot where you could slide a blocking plate. However, as you can see, this unit just doesn't have that option. So anyway, we have to try and block off as much cold air as possible from just kind of creeping in and creating a draft in the house. So. That's what we're doing by covering this thing up and by putting the insulation on the front. Now I'm gonna open up the side of the unit. It's pretty dank in here. This unit's kind of old and you can see the filter there. I can't even get it off. It's really crusted with a lot of minerals and stuff. There's a dish of water there. If you don't drain the water, it can grow mildew. And then when you turn the unit back on in the spring, it smells like mold and swampy, hence the term swamp cooler. So there is a little plug that is inside of that dish of pretty awful looking water, which I'm gonna reach into and try to find. And then hopefully most of that water will um, flow out of there. Okay, so I finally found the plug and I pulled it out and all this water is draining out of the water tray, which is good. Here's what the plug looks like. They look different for every unit, but this is what ours looks like. It's threaded here. So it screws it to the dish. Has a little bit of plumber's tape on there. I just leave this inside of here, inside the cabinet in the winter time so that that thing doesn't get lost. The water level has gone down considerably. You can see that the float is sitting lower than it was. A lot of people will actually dry that dish out in an effort to avoid any kind of mildew growing there. I'm not gonna do that. It's too hard to reach in there. I just don't, frankly, just don't wanna mess with it. So I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so now we can close this up and put our cover on. This cooler cover doesn't have the greatest attachments. All it has is this rope that comes out the bottom of each side and you have to sort of figure out just how to batten this down the best you can. I tied strapping around it with a few bungee cords, just kind of fashioned it together. It's not super tight, but it'll be good enough. There we go. All covered up for the winter. All done. I'm down off the roof. Covering up the swamp cooler, it's not that hard. I mean, you have to get up on the roof, but it's a pretty easy job, actually. <sighs> I do hate carrying that ladder, though. 